You can crush a can using a can crusher. Or you can crush a can using science. Hi, I'm Finn McDermott and I'm doing the can crush experiment. Crushing a can using science. So the purpose of this experiment is to crush an empty pop can using the concepts of the particle theory and air pressure differences. There are two concepts behind my experiment. Particle theory and air pressure differences. So particle theory. All matter is made up of particles. Particles are always moving and the more heat energy the particles have, the more they move around and spread out and take up space. On the opposite side, when they're cooled, they contract together, taking up less space. For an example, on a school bus, if it's really hot outside and you have the opportunity not to sit next to someone, you probably wouldn't want to sit next to that person because it's really hot outside. You want, to be as, as, you want to be as far away from that person as possible. When the opposite, when it's cold outside in the winter, you, probably, you wouldn't mind sitting next to a person because it's actually uh, like you become air warm. pressure. Air pressure is uh, the force that par air particles have on objects. So currently, we don't feel air pressure because the pressure inside our body and outside our body are balanced. But say you dive underwater, there's a difference in air pressure inside your body and outside your body. There's a higher pressure outside your body and a low pressure inside your body. So the high pressure will push on your ear. That's why your ears hurt on your, when you go deep underwater to balance things out with the low pressure. The two different pressures, uh, say there's two different zones of pressures, a high and a low, the high pressure will exert a force on the low pressure trying to balance things out. So based on my research, my hypothesis is that um, the water when it is heated inside the can and the can is submerged in the ice water, the can will completely compress as if someone The materials on. you will need to uh, perform the experiment are Safety glasses, lab tongs, 30 milliliters of water to put inside the pop can, uh, an empty 355 milliliter pop can, a large bowl of wa uh, full of ice water, and a hot plate. Procedure. Take the 30 milliliters of water and carefully pour into the empty pop can. Place pop can on the hot plate and turn to maximum heat. Now we have to wait until the water is boiling. You can you would be able to hear the water boiling at the bottom and you will see the steam rise from the can. Pot at this point there. you can hear the water boiling and you can see the uh, steam rising from the cans opening. So now I'm going to take the lab tongs and I'm going to grab the pop can from the bottom and I'm going to invert and submerge it into the ice water. Turn off hot plate first. Okay, now it's safe to take the can. Now let's see what happens. So the can has imploded and sucked up a little bit of water. That is the can crush experiment. So my observations are that the can imploded and which created a pop sound and uh, a little bit of water entered the can. When the can was submerged in the ice water, the water vapor molecules condensed, well they cooled and then condensed together, uh, turned from gas state back to liquid state, taking up less space, which creates a low pressure, which means on the outside of the can there's a higher pressure, which is the higher pressure, on the, based on the pressure theory, they want to imbalance, right? So the, pr the higher pressure on the outside of the can, uh, try putting, put pressure, put a force on the can crushing it. In my hypothesis, I imagine that the can would crush as if someone would step on it, has stepped on it, but instead it implodes on the sides as if someone squeezed it. So my conclusion is that I was able to crush a can using science, so the particle theory and the differences in air pressures to crush a can and, uh, instead of crushing it physically with a can crusher. So there are many real life examples of differences in air pressure and the So this is an theory. example of how a plane flies, which is uh, air pressure differences. So this is a plane's wing. Okay. 
this is the win. Okay. And there, say there are two air particles. Okay. So this one has to go a long, has a longer uh, route to travel than this one. So this one has to go faster to meet for them to both meet up here. So this creates a low pressure compared to a high pressure underneath. And so the high pressure is trying to balance out with the low pressure, which creates lift. And this is how a plane flies. So my second uh, real life example is how a hot air balloon flies, which is particle theory. So this is a hot air balloon. Okay, so this is the heat sort. So this is the heat source, the fuel. And these are the air particles inside the balloon. So when they get heated, they will move around and spread out, uh, taking up all the space. So like filling the balloon. And uh, that makes it less dense. So these air, uh, these air particles on the outside of the balloon are since they're cooled, they are more dense, so the less dense uh, beats the more dense, which creates the float.